There was never a dull moment in apartment 4D. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're asking which new girl character are you based on your sign? For this list, we'll be looking at which new girl characters match the personality traits of each zodiac sign. We've chosen characters from throughout the series, so a spoiler alert is in effect. Number 12, Pisces, Jessica Day. Just like a classic Pisces, Jess Day is compassionate, wearing her heart on her sleeve. Bobby! <laughs> In a, a cup. Of all her friends, Jess is the one ready to take on anyone's problems and come up with creative solutions. Should we get snacks? Feel like baking love. Feel like baking love. This water sign is especially sensitive, which often makes them feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders. You know what, Gensinger? I don't care what you think of me, because this is my journey. Welcome to my freaking journey. Sometimes her emotions can get the best of her, just like our favorite Pisces. But we know Jess's empathy is off the charts. Well, it helps that you're gorgeous. <laughs> no, that's crazy. That ain't real. That's dumb. That's straight dumb. You're dumb. You're nice. You excited for the holidays? I am. Number 11, Aquarius, Nadia. See, see, the Jewish is here to make sex. As one of the most unpredictable zodiac signs, who represents Aquarians better than Cece's former roommate, Nadia? The Russian model is unpredictable, blunt, and hilarious, not afraid to step on other people's toes. I like his face. I want to punch, punch, punch. Even though she's one huge question mark, everything we do know about her points to her being a deeply interesting person. Why don't you get in your spaceship like Mick Mouse? What are you talking about? Mick Mouse. What is a Mick Mouse? Mick Mouse. I don't understand what Mick Mouse is. Mick Mouse. I don't know. I don't know what, the, what does that mean. What's a Mick Mouse? Mick Mouse. Nadia is a rebel, not caring what anyone else thinks and paving her own way in the world. Just like a typical Aquarius, she's a bit of an enigma, but always brings something new to the table. I have Russian nesting doll. Uh-oh, it's Grenade. Number 10, Capricorn, Fawn Moscato. Councilwoman Moscato, excuse my trembling, but it's an honor. Your head is enormous. Oh, thank you. No one better embodies the strategic, determined Capricorn than city councilwoman Fawn Moscato. I'm Fawn Moscato, and I approve this scotch. As one of Schmidt's more eccentric exes, she's honest to a fault and never failed to take what was hers. Fawn is persistent in both her work and her personal life, sometimes making it hard for those around her to keep up. You have the confidence of a child that was raised in a basement. Say it with pride and include your job title like it's the second half of your name. Like this, Fawn Moscato, City Council. Like so many Capricorns, she's hardworking and may look put together all the time, but deep down, she's very sensitive. Look, if you want to leave, I completely understand, but the truth is... I can't do this without you. Number nine, Sagittarius, Schmidt. Someone's personalized condoms just came in the mail. Hey, jar, $20. If you're a Sagittarius, we have a feeling you find yourself relating most to one of our favorite eccentric characters, Schmidt. We have to retaliate. What do we look like? Tanya Harding's henchmen? What am I, Jeff Galuli? Like a typical Sagittarius, Schmidt is confident, funny, and great to be around, most of the time at least. Even though he can sometimes get overly single-minded when he sees something or someone he wants. That is the lovely but elusive California lionfish. It's perfect. I must have it. Oh, sadly, sir, you can't. What do you mean, can't? It's illegal, sir. This fish is protected by the great state of California. Give me it! But like most Sagittarians, he never forgets those he cares about. Schmidt would do anything for his friends and embodies some of our favorite Sagittarius traits. What happens if I say no? You know what happens? Schmidt happens. Ah, what's in your hand? Thumb ring, bitch! Number eight, Scorpio, Reagan Lucas. God, it's not gonna be weird. Scorpios are known for their allure and their mystery, which certainly describes our pick for this sign, Reagan. She embodies all of the mystery of a Scorpio, but also our other favorite traits as well. Hello, I'm Schmidt. You were a large child. That's incredible. Yes, I, I was obese. Reagan is passionate about the people she cares about and isn't afraid to do what she sees as necessary to help them. Okay, well, if I have to go down with the ship, I'm not going down without a fight. And those two are gonna need a lot more than hair gel and V-necks. They're gonna need motorcycle boots, scarves, knit caps, 
and all the eye makeup the Schmidt's got. Just like a Scorpio, the overt display of emotions made by others in the loft often makes her uncomfortable, but that doesn't stop her from being a great listener and a supportive friend. You know what happens now. I'm not hugging you. Yeah, you are. I'm not hugging you. Number seven, Libra, Paul Genslinger. Blast from the past. How's that ass? That ass is good. I don't know if that's an expression, but. How the heck are you? Good. Mwah. Libras provide balance and are one of the most loyal signs. If this doesn't describe Jess's ex-boyfriend, Paul Genslinger, then we don't know what does. It's a Goldilocks and the three bears. I bet you're the bear who has the bed that's just right. <laughs> oh, it's, it's teacher joke, sorry. Paul was Jess's first boyfriend after her messy breakup with Spencer and is basically the male version of her. My belly's wanting something to pry me down a pumpkin in every gobble gobble way. <laughs> I can know you were going back <laughs> Like a typical Libra, he's super supportive and able to see both sides of a problem. He provided balance for Jess, and even though he could also be very indecisive, we loved his enthusiasm. Hey guys. What's up? What's guys? up? What's up, Paul? Oh, you're looking at me like, what? I should, I should tell you, um, Goose is short for me gusta Jess. Number six, Virgo, Allie Nelson. Flowers are a, that's a normal thing to give to a grown man. Or are they trees? I can't tell, I'm so small. Cool friends, Bishop. As the most practical and down-to-earth character on the show, it only makes sense that she's our pick for Virgo. Allie is blunt in what she says and not afraid to speak the truth. Pretend you're an adult and get it over with. Yeah. Train's already left the station, Nick. The longer you wait, the worse it's gonna get. She embodies some of our favorite Virgo traits, like being loyal and analytical, but this also means she can sometimes get too caught up in her own head. Just like a classic Virgo, Allie can sometimes be too critical of those around her, but it always comes from a place of love. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, and I feel like I should call San Diego to warn them about you. But you seem convinced, so if it gets you out of here faster, God bless. Do you believe in God, Allie? I believe in hell, and I'm in it. Number five, Leo, Cece Perique. How long before you unleash holy hell on your dad's new girlfriend, I wanna make sure I've got a good seat and plenty of snacks. Okay. Cecilia. There's never a dull moment with a Leo, and we know the same can be said about one of our favorite new girl characters, Cece. Cece is protective and passionate about her friends, but she also has a reputation for being proud and hating being wrong. Oh, you little power trip trash guard. You know what? This is over. The only way you are gonna get to her is if you go through me and you are not getting through me. While she loves being the center of attention, something that is notorious among Leos, she's very loyal and does whatever it takes to protect the people she loves. You were wearing a hat made of ribbons. My ribbon hat. I love that hat. Screw her. And I'm gonna wear that ribbon hat. Go get it right now. Be right back. Oh, thank you. Nick, where is this bitch? I'm gonna smack that lawyer learning right out of her mouth. Okay. Number four, cancer, Nick Miller. So I've decided to give up on women and put all that energy into tomatoes. Cancers have a reputation for being imaginative, and if this doesn't describe Nick, we don't know what does. Nick is always coming up with a creative fix for a problem or embarking on a crazy adventure, sometimes being a bit too impulsive for his own good. I'm fine, you're right. Okay, I like them, all right? I hate myself. Is that what you want me to say? Why do you always have to make everything so simple? How do you just get it? How do I become you? Show me the way, man, I'll do anything. Like a typical Cancer, Nick can be moody and has a hard time letting things go. Even though he tries to deny it, he's also one of the most caring characters on the show and is always supportive of the things his friends do. We brought you a gift, assorted candies. Please enjoy, they're delicious. Number three, Gemini, Winston. Puzzling, Winston is about to do some puzzling. About to get to some puzzle troubling. Geminis are known for being tricksters with many faces, just like Winston, our pick for the sign. Winston has many sides to his personality, and you never know which one you're gonna get. Hey, you wanna split that pasta from last night? Hmm? Winston and Ferguson about to split some pasta. He's friendly and charismatic, but also hard to predict. Winston is notorious for his pranks and is a real wild card. Gotcha! <laughs> Prank Sinatra, baby! Just like a classic Gemini, he's charming and perceptive and able to get himself out of any sticky situation. 
He keeps the gang on their toes, and we could not imagine New Girl without him. Look at me being so naughty. <laughs> so naughty. Number two, Taurus, Robbie McFerrin. You think that I'm nice? No. I think you're the nicest. Tauruses are reliable and patient, but they're much more than just that. Just like our pick for this sign, Robbie. Die Hard 2. I truly love pre-movie trivia. Robbie embodies the gentler side of a Taurus, being dependable and trustworthy. Like our favorite Taurus friends, he's devoted to whoever he cares about and provides stability to the group. Hey, Robert Frost, looks like we're going to take the road just travel. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he can be a bit of a pushover, he's never mean to anyone and is dedicated to accomplishing his goals. Okay, we got our maps, yep. got our canteens, yep. got our trail mix, homemade, of course. Got my book of local fauna. Got my book of local flora. So we can identify every, every living, living thing. thing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Aries, Coach I'm brave! I take dumps standing up! I'm a man! Aries are natural-born leaders, so is there anything more fitting than our pick for Aries being Coach? Just like the other fire signs, Aries can be competitive and passionate, which can make them come off as a bit headstrong. I'm gonna make a cake so moist, girls are gonna be like, ew, why do you say moist? I hate that word. But I'm gonna like, just taste the cake. And they're gonna be like, damn, it's moist. Coach uses these traits to his advantage, giving the rest of the group guidance and support to take on their problems. What do you want? I wanna be best friends. Fight them all and tell me what you want! I want He is blunt and not afraid to speak his mind, but also brings a great sense of humor and a laugh to the people around him. This is America! Wear pants! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.